All right, it's another episode of the Indie Rundown Podcast. We're doing another indie review, reviewing a kick-ass short slash long short film, Tony, written and directed by Hugo Garcia, starring Lorenzo Bentivoglio, Margot Brunel, uh, Wilfred Caput, amongst many others, and uh, shot by our friend Rupert Sanchez. This was shot in France. And uh, this was released in theaters in France as well, just to give you a a little bit of a a background as to how well this movie did. It won 17 awards and has 14 nominations. Amongst some of those were the European Cinematography Awards, uh, Best Europe Film won in October. And then it also won Best Actor, for who we're going to see at the Falcon International Film Festival, won that, was nominated for Best Cinematography and Best Film in the Field the Real International Film Festival in 2008, won Best Actor there as well for who we're going to see at. Also won Best Actor again, who we're going to see at won <laughs> in the uh, prestigious International Film Festival in 2018, Los Angeles Film Festival, won Best Featurette, Best Score, Best Ensemble, as well, so congratulations to them on that. Monthly Film Festival, it won Best Actor, Best Film, Best Screenwriter, was nominated for Best Film and an Original Score there as well. Uh, so on and on and on and on and on. If you look at uh, their IMDb page, just uh, loaded. And when you're watching this movie, um, again, it it... it it was an indie film, but it was very well made. You don't feel like you're watching an indie film. Mm-hmm. Uh, I loved the way uh, Rupert was able to put together, Rupert and Diego were, uh, or Hugo were able to put together uh, the montage segments. It really allowed for passage of time. Uh, the music, I know that uh, Hugo was going for, like a, a Scarface. <laughs> he really liked Scarface. He was going for a take on that without imitating or recreating. Cause you know how a, a lot of people, when they're trying to do homages to, you know, their, their favorite director or their favorite movies, a lot of times they end up getting in that trap of, of recreating and imitating, which kind of turns audiences off, but he did a good job. I mean, this is, this is in a, in a, uh, an original film. You know, Rupert was telling us on the, on the episode he was on, it's very personal to Google. So uh, and I, and after I was done watching this movie, I didn't know that uh, Hugo was the writer and director of this movie. So he did the whole shebang. Wrote he did he did the Stallone wrote, directed, and starred in this, and uh, he did a kick-ass job. And him and Lorenzo, uh, two badass actors. I really liked how you know, even with Hugo, he was he was he was speaking in French, but he was talking to his grandparents in the film. You know, they're speaking in Spanish too. So it's a real fluid situation and the story of, of of tony just to give you a quick synopsis is basically a story of a a, a guy uh he sent he goes by tony but uh, he, he's from a well-to-do family but he is a gangster he's hanging out with these with these gang members and stuff and so that dichotomy uh really comes into play and i don't want to give too much away but um that's really the forefront of the uh, of of the story and the complications that arise with him and his family and stuff like that and I thought it was very well acted, very well, extremely well shot. Good direction, too. Everyone felt, I didn't see any acting here, man. Everyone was just living their lives. They were they were in their care. They, it, it, I got nothing bad to say, man. I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. I thoroughly enjoyed it. You said a lot of stuff that I agree with. Uh, the awards, it, it makes me wonder if they have a shelf big enough for all those damn awards. Um, props <laughs> to them, man. That's That's impressive. It's like a... I think they have more awards than some Oscar films do. But yeah, man, my whole thing with this movie is I was really a fan of Rupert's ability to capture. Of course, the acting was phenomenal, man. Like you said, it doesn't even seem like they're acting. It seems like they're in their element. But the way Rupert was able to capture these images with the locations and the production value, the perks of shooting in France of all places. You know, it's not every day I see a film that was shot in France like this. But uh, no, nah, man, the, the camera work was just above a lot of stuff I've seen and just the way they were able to get certain shots and set up shots and, you know, uh, capture the tone of the world that these guys live in. It was just, it was awesome. 
you know, from a cine- cinematography standpoint, I, I really felt encapsulated into this world. Um, really trying hard not to give away anything right now, but uh, yeah. And then the the language I was really high on. I love when films uh, use their true their 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 true language because it doesn't seem like it's acting. You know, it's like when I watch Spanish films and they speak in Spanish all the time. It's like this is real real life stuff, real world stuff. They're really capturing the realism of everything. So the action too, like you said, the montages were fantastic. I also want to give a shout out to uh, Mikel uh, Vivacqua. I sincerely apologize for mispronouncing your name, but the scene with him and Ugo, he plays his father, uh, Mm. was uh, was a hell of a scene, man. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, That was was a hell of a scene. Uh, So big shout out to him. Again, the acting kicks ass in this movie, man. Yeah, very much so. Every, I think everything does. The sound design, the music, the cinematography, the editing. Like I said uh, on, on a couple of other projects, it's a well-put-together film. Very underrated. I think a lot of people need to check this film out as soon as they can. Yeah, or there's it's def- available. Yeah, there's, there's definitely a, it felt like we saw a feature film, right? But it was in yeah. 35 minutes or so. So mm-hmm. they were able to pack a lot in, but it didn't feel rushed. And it didn't feel tacked on. No. So we were able to get a lot of story uh, seamlessly in, in such a short amount of time. Well, it's funny because at one point I was looking at the time and I was like, oh, shit, there's only 10 minutes left. Holy, you know, it, it doesn't drag. It doesn't. It's nothing like that. I just I got so wrapped up into it. It's almost over by this point. So yeah, it's a good story. I think you could do a lot with it. If you want to yeah. you know, turn this into a, like a, a mini series, you could. If you want to make a full length feature film, you could. Mm-hmm. There's a lot. There's a lot going into there. A lot of po- moving parts, and it's just interesting to see. Uh, it really, is a character study. So it, it was. Uh, mm-hmm. it, was, it was a good movie to watch. Fun movie to watch. Yeah, I loved it, man. I thought it was great. All was right. Great. Well, we are both in uh, in, in agreement here. Uh, yeah. You know, I hope it keeps doing well in festivals, man. A, so. As do I. Again, uh, Tony, check, definitely want to check it out. Uh, we will keep y'all posted on this, and uh, and. Uh, and that's it. I think we're out, man. Again, if you want to have us review any of your short films or any anything, if it's a YouTube channel or whatever, go ahead and send us an email at the indie rundown at gmail.com and uh, send us a DM at the indie rundown on either Twitter and Instagram and like our Facebook page, the indie rundown podcast. It's Mike, it's Zach, it's another indie review. We are out. Be sure to follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram at the indie rundown and like our Facebook page, the indie rundown podcast. 